Convicted war criminal Omar Khadr spent his first night in a Canadian jail. Unscrupulous Canadian journalists and politicians refer to him as a self-confessed war criminal. But his lawyer, Dennis Edney, argues that he is a victim of war, who at the hands of genuine war criminals in Western governments has been unlawfully incarcerated, tortured and denied basic civil liberties. Omar Khadr, who is a Canadian citizen, was kidnapped at gunpoint from Afghanistan when he was only 15 years old by US occupying forces. He was then taken to the controversial Guantanamo Bay prison camp, where he spent a decade of his life without due process. And now, the Harper government is making the child soldier spend more time behind bars in Canada. Surely, there can be no greater rebuke levied against a government its elected representatives and others that purport to uphold the rule of law and to have been complicit in something that is both real and horrifying against one of its citizens, especially a youth, namely torture. How we can allow a child to remain in Guantanamo Bay without saying a thing? How we could allow a place called Guantanamo Bay to exist without at, um, making some protest? Um, we cannot talk about ourselves as law-abiding people when that type of actions are not challenged. The Harper government waxes lyrical about law and order, but when it comes to Omar Khadr, argues Edney, the Harper government has consistently flouted the law and refused to comply with rulings of the Supreme Court of Canada. Involving Omar Khadr, the, the Canadian Supreme Court, in a major rebu rebuke, ruled the U.S. treatment of Omar Khadr in Guantanamo Bay contravened the International Convention on Torture and the Geneva Conventions, and that Canada was complicit in that torture. Well, the Canadian government is following the same path as the American government. They talk about international law, but they don't follow it. Omar Khadr was entitled to all types of international protection. The Convention on the Rights of the Child, the Convention Against Torture, our own Supreme Court of Canada said he was tortured, and yet our government chooses not to provide him with all those that, um, conventions that, that he's entitled to. The internationally reputed human rights lawyer condemned the Harper government's attitude towards the UN. Edney noted that the UN Committee Against Torture recently slammed the Canadian government's complicity in torture against Canadian citizens such as child soldier Omar Khadr. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary. I think this shouldn't be a demo. They calling me a terrorist, like they don't know who the terror is. When they put it on me, I tell them this. I'm all about peace and love. They calling me a terrorist, like they don't know who the terror is. Insulting my intelligence, oh how these people judge. Seems like the ragheads and packies are worrying your dad But your dad's favourite food is curry and kebab It's funny but it's sad how they make your mummy hurry with her bags Rather read the sun and study all the facts Tell me, what's the bigger threat to human society? BAE systems or homemade IEDs Remote control drones killing off human lives Or man with homemade bomb committing suicide I know you were terrified when you saw the towers fall It's all terror but some forms are more powerful It seems nuts, how could there be some such agony when more Israelis die from peanut allergies It's like the definition didn't ever exist I guess it's all just dependent who your nemesis is Irrelevant how eloquent the rhetoric peddler is They're telling fibs now, tell us who the terrorist is They're calling me a terrorist Like they don't know who the terrorist is When they put it on me, I tell them this I'm all about peace and love They're calling me a terrorist Like they don't know who the terrorist Insulting my intelligence Oh, how these people judge was democracy, Mossadegh was democracy, Allende was democracy, hypocrisy, it bothers me, call you terrorists if you don't want to be a colony, refuse to bow down to a policy of robberies, terrorism, my lyrics, when more Vietnam vets killed themselves after the war than died in it, this is very basic, one nation in the world has over a thousand military bases, they say it's religion, when clearly it isn't, it's not just Muslims that oppose your imperialism, it's Hugo Chavez, a Muslim, nah, I didn't think so, it's Castro, a 
Muslim. Nah, I didn't think so. It's like